Welcome back. I'm Pastelis, Avon Waters. And today I want to talk to you about something that's very elementary, very simple, but very necessary. And many of you who were in grade school and primary school, uh, you can skip this video if you know your color wheel inside and out, but others may need a refresher. So this is a quick little refresher on color wheels. Um, the color wheels come in many different shapes and sizes. You can order from uh, art supply houses or your local hobby store. Here's an example of a couple. This is the Jack Richardson color wheel. Very simple. Uh, it doesn't spin. It doesn't do anything fancy like some of the others do. On the back side there are some explanations of uh, how, how to mix and use some of these colors. This is one of my favorites. This is the um, color wheel company and it's called the pocket color wheel and it has two sides unlike the Jack Richardson and I don't know why they call it the pocket because I don't have any pocket this thing will fit into. So maybe it's the pocket of my art supply thing that I carry around with me or something but uh, it's certainly not going to fit in your shirt pocket. But it's a great little color wheel because it has tons and tons of information and they make a wall version of this thing if you want to hang it in your studio. But um, one that you can hold in your hand is really more useful than something that's hanging on the wall that you got to walk up to all the time. Let's look at some of the details that are on here. And you can see this particular side. Um, this particular side will show you how you can get uh, Remember we talked last week about adding blacks and whites. It'll show you how you get a tint. It'll show you how you get uh, a shade if you add black. It will show you if you add another color, what that color to the primary and secondary and tertiary colors that are on the outside, what, how it will change. So that side is very interesting. This is one of my favorite sides. This side will show you the different ways to look at uh, using the colors in a way on your painting that makes sense and people who are looking at art or your art they may not know anything about color theory but you can come up with uh, harmonious colors harmonious colors are any of these any of these colors using three to four of these colors that are next to one another on the color wheel the harmonious colors will um, uh, you can use tones and shades but any color set of uh, three or four if you paint using these uh, and the variations and all the colors that are underneath um, this little spinny spinny thing then you will uh, any of those colors that you use that uh, you'll have a harmonious overall pleasing effect on your painting so this will tell you what harmonious colors are. Uh, analogous colors are using colors that are adjacent to one another also. Analogous colors is similar to harmonic colors except you're not using shades and tints. You're just using the colors and the variations that are, um, are available in pastels for that particular set of uh, three to four colors that are adjacent to one another on the wheel also. Now, you get into complementary colors and that's uh, quite the post-impressionist and Van Gogh was great using uh, complementaries. That's where you have a color and the opposite color is across here. There's also uh, this color wheel. This color wheel also lets you use split complementary and split complementary are colors that are um, you have a, you turn this wheel and whatever color is up here, your split complementary is the colors on each side of the complement. So if we have this color here, we have on that, we have a red orange. So your split complements would be an orange and a red. So using those three colors as your primary palette is another pleasing way. Then you have uh, the triad. The triad is very easy to remember. We learned the primary colors were uh, red, yellow, and blue. That's a triad. Triads are any color combination that are equally spaced. Now once you get past red, yellow, and blue, it becomes a little more difficult for people and this is why the color wheels are handy because you can just put your primary, or you can put whatever color you want up here 
and the triad on the back will tell you what the comp uh, what the equally spaced colors are not the complement but the equally spaced colors so we would have a triad there and we could turn the wheel and come up with any any combination got to turn the right side you can come up with any other combination um, if you had a red violet up there your triad is going to be orange and green down here so that's the triad then the tetrad the tetrad tetra means four is any four colors uh, you can create a square anywhere here square or rectangle and any four colors where two of the colors are on this side of the rectangular square and their complements on this side of the rectangle or square going across this way. So the tetrad can be any four colors and that also makes um, for a harmonious uh, looking painting that your viewers are used to seeing. So that's a quick overview and I'm going to show you how uh, some of these colors from the color wheel would make up some of those uh, triads and harmonious uh, combinations. Okay, let's take a look at split complement first. The split complement, if we turned our color wheel up there um, and we used a yellow-orange, the split complement of that is going to be a violet and it's going to be a blue. And right straight across from the yellow-orange you would um, you would also then find the blue violet down in here as the complement. That's what color would be down in between these. So using these color combinations you could easily create a, a pleasing effect. Now the triad, the triad if we used a yellow orange, I'll use the same um, yellow orange, I'll use the same yellow orange there and the triad then would be yellow orange and a blue green and then a red violet my violet here is just a little on the violet side kinda like that so we're going to mix a red violet and you can see the red violet being mixed if you missed last week's video, I'll put the link down below so that you can uh, see color mixing with pastels and how we discussed that last week. So that is your triad. And then you have your tetrad. Remember, the tetrad is four colors, and the four colors are have complements of one another. So if we use a red-orange in this corner, then the opposite of the red-orange is going to be a yellow-green. And we could add a little more yellow to that. That's almost uh, a green-yellow, uh, but uh, adding a little more yellow to that would uh, create that combination of complements. Now on the other corner of the triad, we have our red violet again and we'll mix that and then we have our blue green that is the opposite of that red violet and I'm going to add a little bit more of this blue over the top because you can see in a different video what I'll talk about is color relativity but when I put when I put that blue green next to this yellow green it really did not have the blue cast that uh, would complement this that well so again mixing colors go back to that video and see there is a way that you can, and we got a little yellow because this is a yellow orange. I'll see if I can tone this one down to make it a little bit more on the yellow green side. Uh, that, that helps the yellow green aspect of it. So there are your 
uh, different ways to combine colors using the color wheel. And without the color wheel, unless you really have a good memory where you can visualize that color wheel and put a little rectangle or a square in there, a tetrad gets really difficult unless you use the color wheel as a reference. Now remember, the color wheel also lets us use these tints. And the tints are, this is, this is the orange we used up here. And we can make these tints by adding white and see how the hue changes somewhat by adding white to that orange. We'll add white to that blue-green, to the red-violet, to this yellow-green down here, and the blue-green we created here. Then with black, we can create. You have to remember, you have to put the black down and then mix the color over it and you can create various darker shades of an orange with your black and white. And the color wheel illustrates that also. So you can see what colors, what might not be in your box, and you would be able to use these colors to, uh, and the whites and the shades and the tints to create a, quite a variety. So I hope that that helps you a little bit. I hope that helps you a little bit. Remember what maybe some of you learned in grade school and um, uh, high school art classes. If you're uh, trying to get back into art and find that happiness that uh, I think everybody needs to find in life, then please be sure to, um, to try some of these things out on your own. Get a color wheel if you don't have one, and it will certainly help you along. So until next time, I'm Avon Waters, and I want you to find happiness in art. Be happy. We all deserve it. And by all means, if you like this or you want to see more videos, please hit the subscribe button and the notification button below and we'll uh, post more information and get you more information about color theory as we move along to more advanced techniques. All right, until next time, happy painting.